Coast Scouts of Northern California PDR. I'm Ron West. I currently serve on the board of directors for the Backcountry Discovery Routes, and I've had the good fortune of helping a scout not only the Southern California route, but now the uh, upcoming Northern California route. My name is Trevor Doniak, and I've been with Zero Motorcycles now for going on 13 years and I had a big part in the development of the DSRX, which we're riding out here, and uh, I'm excited for Ron to ride it today. Well, I'm looking forward to riding the bike, but I obviously won't be able to ride it like Trevor. <laughs> I always love these two tracks with the grass strip down the middle. It just really makes you feel like you're riding something that not a lot of people ride. Absolutely, Super yeah. Fun. Yeah, unbeaten path. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're in the backcountry. <laughs> Yeah! Out here. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's so smooth that it just... Me and Ron were just saying it's like a magic carpet ride. Yeah, it's kind of like almost ice skating, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Northern California Backcountry Discovery Route would be substantially different than the Southern Route. Um, first of all, no sand. <laughs> And that was specific. Uh, and also, we're specifically designing this route so that it can be someone's first BDR. We have the Mid-Atlantic on, uh, on the East Coast uh, that arguably is one of our, our easier backcountry discovery routes. And we wanted to kind of do the same thing on the West Coast to allow riders to, who are just starting uh, their BDR riding career, if you will, to be able to have an opportunity to get out and ride their first BDR, and, and this route will be one of those. But at the same time, we also have scouted some really difficult uh, advanced terrain, so that those of you who like those, those challenges, those will definitely be in the route as well. I'm riding in off-road mode and standard ride mode, and uh, man, it handles this so well. I mean, traction control is amazing. I hardly feel it. Woo! Oh my God, Nathan, you have got to get on this bike. It is frigging amazing. No <laughs> sh it's amazing. <laughs> well, Ron, this has been absolutely amazing. Um, tell me a little bit about what it takes to create one of these BDR routes. About three years <laughs> on right. average. Uh, basically what we want to do is we want to create the route whenever possible to to start and finish in a specific location. Um, and then we just start filling in the dots in between. We wanna make sure that we take into account all of the uh, scenic wonders, maybe some historic uh, aspects of the route. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you can see here in California, we have over 30,000 miles of dirt roads. Both of these roads go to the same location, but we wanna pick the right one, the one that's the most scenic or the, uh, has the most fun to it. Um, load them into the GPS here. Um, and then also I have a phone app with Gaia, and Gaia is, is really helpful in determining whether or not we're going into uh, a public or private land. Mm -hmm. Also, there's other resources that we have access to, uh, both BLM and, and the Forest Service. Um, this happens to be a motor vehicle use map. Mm -hmm. So this tells us, since we're on the National Forest, what roads we can legally travel on and we want to make sure um, that the BDR routes stay on on public roads uh, so that they can remain open for in per, what's the word per, it, so the Ritz so they can stay open right behind right. this fence and you Woo! are gonna find a level 2 charging station in a little town that has no gas station <laughs> All right, look at that this is exactly what we need this is the J1772 and this is the juice box this is exactly what we use back at zero. Free charging, can't beat that. So the best part about scouting BDR in the fall, trailside coffee houses. I'm gonna get one. This route, we've actually scouted it uh, over the years, a number of years, but the last, particularly the last two summers, three summers, uh, California has just been absolutely devastated with wildfire. We had to rescout a lot of the stuff that we had ridden before just to make sure it still goes through. That's why we're so excited to have this uh, collaboration with Zero, and it was great to be able to get on the bike and, and ride this amazingly capable adventure bike through the Northern California Backcountry Discovery Road.